Stop scrolling, this changes everything. Whether you've never heard of Unitree or you think you know their G1 robot, you don't. Because what they just dropped is wild. A $16,000 humanoid that flips, fights, gets up from anything, and now mirrors you like it's possessed. No lab demo, no cables, it's out, it's real. And it just made Boston Dynamics look slow. If you're not watching this, you're missing the biggest humanoid leap of the year. Let's dive in. Last summer, Unitree quietly released the G1, a fully operational production-ready humanoid robot, and they priced it at just $16,000. That's not a typo, this isn't a one-off lab project, you can actually buy this thing. The G1 stands about 4 feet 3 inches tall, weighs 77 pounds, and runs on 23 actuated joints that power its arms, legs, torso, and core. Under its sleek, minimalist shell hides an unnamed 8-core processor flanked by a Levox MID360 LiDAR sensor and an Intel RealSense D435 depth camera, essentially giving it stereoscopic vision and real-time three-dimensional awareness. Battery, you're looking at a 9,000 milliamp hour pack that lasts around two hours of continuous use, and it can walk at 4.4 miles per hour, which, if you've seen the video, looks disturbingly human. Fold the arms, bend the knees, and this robot tucks neatly into the trunk of a car like a weird camping chair. Although lifting it feels like dragging a small child who forgot how to stand. Now the G1's base model ships with placeholder mitts, just gloves, over passive hands. But the EDU version? That's where things get spicy. Unitree added three-fingered, fully actuated hands capable of precise manipulation. Enough to flip dumplings, solder wires, open soda bottles, or karate chop whatever stands in its way. Although sometimes the coke test gets messy. More importantly, the SDK is open. If you've ever coded for their go-to robot dog, you're already halfway to writing scripts for G1. This isn't some black box toy. It's a real platform for research labs, universities, and developers who want to build the next generation of embodied artificial intelligence. Back in March, Unitree dropped a bombshell video, a humanoid robot performing a standing side flip, not off a ramp, not tethered to a ceiling, just a crouch, hip torque, a twist, and clean air. The robot lands it, one foot, then the other, the feat wasn't hand-coded. Engineers built a reinforcement learning framework called Kung Fu Bot, trained entirely inside NVIDIA Isaac Sim, using thousands of trial and error cycles. The result? Not just a flip, we're talking kip-ups, tai chi sweeps, and low spin kicks that look like something out of a Jet Li film, and nothing broke. No crash mats, no flailing, Meanwhile, Boston Dynamics Atlas usually ends those sessions lying face up, like a gym mat casualty. The gap between Boston and Hangzhou shrinking fast. Fast forward two months. Unitree held their first Iron Fist King tournament, a humanoid robot fight night outside their factory. Four teams, color-coded G1 bots, two-minute rounds, points for hand strikes, leg strikes, knockdowns. The crowd favorite nicknamed AI Strategist logged three clean knockouts and took the crown. The footage? Stunning. Robots throwing leg kicks, blocking jabs, twisting torsos to dodge hits. And this wasn't remote control nonsense. Operators used motion capture gear and even PlayStation controllers. Voice control wasn't fast enough. The matches were raw, unpredictable, and physical. A few hits left bots staggering, but none collapsed. Motors held, balance algorithms adapted in real time, it wasn't ballet, it was full contact testing. While some bots learned to fight, others learned to follow. At Stanford and Simon Fraser University, researchers launched a project called TWIST, a full body teleoperation system for the G1. With a motion capture suit, the robot mirrors your every move shoulders, elbows, hips, knees, even toes. No laggy pre scripted gestures, just live mapping and imitation learning that filters out human jitter. The demo? A mock kitchen. The G1 opens a door with its elbow, nudges a basket with its foot, lifts boxes using both arms. It's smooth, creepy smooth. Then in San Diego, researchers pushed it into medicine. Seven simulated clinical tasks. Ultrasound scanning, catheter placement, even airway tube positioning. Haptic gloves, VR headset. The takeaway? Under a skilled pilot, the G1 can assist in procedures with millimeter level precision. Now let's talk about something every robot fails at. Fall recovery. Enter HOST, Humanoid Standing Up Control. 
a breakthrough algorithm dropped by Open Robot Lab earlier this year on ARX, later named a finalist for Best Systems at RSS 2025, using a blend of four reward functions, motion smoothing, and something they call a vertical pull force curriculum, the G1 learned to stand up from any position, flat on its back, face down, pinned against a wall, sideways on a slope. In field tests, it recovered in under three seconds. Engineers even kicked its legs mid-routine just to stress test it. Even better, the code's public. With a G1 and a GPU, you can download their PyTorch checkpoint from GitHub and try it yourself. Yes, this flip-capable, self-recovering humanoid is now basically DIY. But it's not all martial arts and miracle code. On April 1st, Axios reported a critical vulnerability, CVE-2025-2894, a backdoor in Unitree's Go1 robot dog allowed outside actors to scrape video feeds or even control the robot if the user never changed default SH credentials. The news triggered panic. Headlines called it a national security threat. Unitree moved fast. They shut down the offending cloud tunnel, issued a firmware patch, and publicly confirmed the G1 uses a hardened security stack but the damage was done. It reminded everyone that when your robot has Wi-Fi, motors, and a camera, your home isn't just smart, it's vulnerable. Security aside, the G1 kept walking into public life. In April, Beijing's E-Town Half Marathon added a dedicated robot lane and let 21 humanoids attempt the full 13.1 mile course. The footage? Equal parts inspiring and chaotic. One G1 veered off course and took out its handler. Another pink one sat down mid-track and refused to move. Spectators laughed, filmed, and posted. But the fact that any humanoid completed the course is insane. Tian Kung Ultra, a Chinese prototype, finished in 2 hours and 40 minutes. Unitree's bots didn't all make it, but those that did held up on real pavement with real terrain. Zoom out, and the G1 becomes more than a stunt robot. It's a signal. China is staring down a 30 million worker shortfall by 2025. The manufacturing base is shrinking. By 2045, its working age population could drop to 645 million. Robots aren't just an experiment, they're a necessity. In January, President Xi personally invited Unitree CEO Wang Xingxing to a roundtable with Alibaba and Huawei. Translation, humanoids are officially part of China's five-year tech blueprint. Bank of America projects one million humanoid units shipped annually by 2030. Government subsidies exceed 20 billion yuan, with more coming via a one trillion yuan deep tech fund. In factories like Agibot, they now run 17-hour shifts training humanoids to fold shirts and prep fast food just to harvest more training data. Then there's the supply chain war. Unotree's biggest edge isn't just price, it's self-reliance. Up to 90% of G1's components are domestically sourced in China. By contrast, Tesla's Optimus, it's still importing harmonic reducers and actuators. Optimus reportedly cost over $50,000 to build, the G1, sub-20,000, and it's assembled in-house at Unitree's Hangzhou campus. Tariffs could raise G1's United States price to $40,000, but companies like BMW, Mercedes, and several electric vehicle makers already use Unitree bots on production lines, even at double the cost they're buying. One vulnerability remains, GPUs. Like most advanced robotics, G1 training still leans on NVIDIA cards. If Washington tightens exports again, China's humanoid rollout could slow or fork into an AMD or ASIC workaround. At the end of the day, the real arms race isn't in batteries or joints. It's in data. Unitree's factory bots punch and block each other in real time just to generate impact telemetry. Every hit teaches the G1's reinforcement learning engine how to respond better next time. Stanford's TWIST pilots feed in bimanual manipulation logs. The marathon gave them outdoor locomotion data on cracked sidewalks, uneven asphalt, and crowd interference. Each step, fall, and gesture becomes another data point, another lesson, another neural pattern the next generation will download by default. In China, where the parts factory is just a subway ride away, 
That feedback loop spins faster than anywhere else on Earth. But it's not all tech wins, there's a human cost. Over 123 million people work in Chinese manufacturing. Displacing even 10% of them would trigger a shockwave. Lawmakers are already debating artificial intelligence unemployment insurance with 6 to 12 month payouts under review. In elder care, the G1 is being trialed as a bed to bath lift assistant for senior homes. That's not science fiction, that's a pilot program. And in the labs? Engineers joke about a future where robots build themselves, but the punchline's fading. Tuesday might be the upload date. So where does that leave the G1? Right now for $16,000 you get a 4 foot humanoid who can walk through a warehouse, stand up after a fall, slip like a gymnast, fight like a boxer, mirror your exact movements, and even cook an egg if you trust it with fire. Add in TWIST and you've got a second body. Add in HOST and you've got resilience. And add in artificial intelligence control and maybe you've got something else entirely. Just remember, update your SSH keys, keep cloud access locked down, and don't teach it roundhouse kicks unless you're ready for payback. That's your Unitree G1 breakdown. From lab flips to factory floors, this thing is already living in tomorrow. If you got value here, smash that like button, subscribe for the next deep dive, and tell me in the comments what skill do you want to see G1 learn next. Until then, stay curious and watch your shins.